Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to part 7 of the Slither.io tutorial series in Scratch. Let's check out what we have so far. If I full screen here, you can see we have a snake. It goes around, it chases uh, the food, it has a length. It's a pretty cool game with some pretty cool effects. And you can see that I have to chase these white things as well. Um, so what I want to do in a couple uh, in this episode is make a couple uh, changes to our white floating food, if you want to call it that. And then I also want to add a boundary system. Uh, so firstly, in this uh, floating food, we're going to call it special food because that's what we've named uh, the variable. That's what we're about to name it, actually. So we want to make sure that there are enough for the snake to eat because right now we're only spawning 10. And after those 10 are eaten, well, guess what? The snake doesn't have any more to eat. And so we want to keep it repopulated just like we did here with food count. So as you can guess, we're going to make another variable here to keep track of that. This time we're going to call it special food count. And this one's going to be for all sprites. And we're going to say when flag is clicked, let's set this special food count to zero. And instead of saying repeat, we're going to drag in eight forever. So we're going to say forever, repeat, or, or if, um, and then go into operators, drag in a less than, we're going to say Repeat until special, uh, sorry, if special food count is less than 10, then we want to uh, create clone of myself. It's gonna look confused because of the repeat here, but that's the way the code should look. Um, and whenever we do that, we actually wanna change special food count by one, just so that we keep track of the actual number of clones. Uh, but let's see where we delete clones. You can see we have a place where we delete clones. So uh, it would be appropriate for us to deduct one from the number of special food clones that we have in that variable. So the easy way to do that is to just change it by negative one. And so now you can see that the special food, oops, they don't spawn yet. Uh, I have to make sure that I am changing special food count. Oops. Um, and now you can see that it gets to 10. As you guys can see, that white thing just went into me and the special food count is going down by one and then repopulating. Um, so we know that is working. All right, so the next thing I want to do is add a ghost effect to our special food sprite. Um, now this is gonna be actually easier than how we did it with the other um, food. And the way we're gonna do it here is we're gonna say when I start as clone, because these are gonna be for the clones, we're going to say uh, wait because we wanna add some random delay to our animations. So we're gonna say pick a random number from zero to two, wait, whoops, zero to two, wait that many seconds, and then we're gonna go into uh, control, drag in a forever, and then drag in a repeat. Um, and then we're just gonna change size and ghost effect here to give it a kind of pulsing animation. So we're gonna change size by one and change ghost effect. Uh, by let's say three and we repeat this 20 times we can duplicate this and do the complete opposite so that uh, we return back to our normal state so negative one and negative three and as you guys can see it's a little bit hard to see but these um, food they now have a, a have a pulsing effect so uh, I think that's pretty cool all right the next thing I want to do is make sure that the special food has a uh, unique and random clone speed. So the way we're going to do that is create a new variable. This one's going to be for this sprite only, so make sure you hit that. And this is going to be called clone speed. Again, this is in our special food sprite. Um, and so what we're going to say is right here, set our speed to a random number. And for right now, we can say anywhere from three to six. Um, and then as you can see right now, this is what is going to be controlling the speed. So we should replace this five with our new variable called uh, clone speed. So now we will have a uh, special food of different uh, speeds. So you can see that one maybe was a little bit slower and there's only 10, so it's a little bit hard to test, but that one may be, that's a lot slower and this one's a little bit faster. So yeah. All right, and the final thing I wanna do for this episode is create a boundary system. So I'm gonna upload one of the costumes that I've created beforehand. The one we're gonna be using here is called Red Border. Let's go ahead and add that. Um, 
and we're gonna add some pretty simple code here. So the first thing we want to do is say when flag is clicked, uh, hide, and you'll see why. The reason is because we need to make this 300% uh, size, but Scratch actually won't let us do that immediately. Um, and you can see it gets pretty big, but it doesn't get to 300, it only gets to 116. And so there's a little hack we can do. We can create a really small costume. So, so now it's a really small sprite, and so I'll set this to one. So we can switch to that costume. Uh, let's see, switch costume to that costume one. Then we're gonna set size to 300, and now we can actually switch back and show. So that's a little hack that we can use. Uh, and the other thing we wanna do is set our ghost effect before we show to something like 30, just so it's not fully red. Um, and I think that is it there. And then we want to control the position. So there's an easy way to do this. You say forever, go to, and this will be very similar to the code that we use in the other two sprites, uh, that move. Um, and it's gonna be go to, bring in the two minus signs, and put in zero for the first one of each minus sign, and put in cam X and cam Y respectively. So cam X here, and cam Y here. And so now this works, we should have a boundary system. So if I go to the very edge, you can see that I can actually follow across this border. I can go underneath it, which we're going to have to prevent eventually. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in part eight with some more cool stuff to add. Peace out guys.